Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're doing another Swiss Dragons of Tarkir Fate Reforged draft. We opened a good on color rare, and on color I mean good uh, one color, mono color rare. Uh, I like Secure the Waste a lot. There is Ultimate Price in here, which is very premium removal. There's also Vulture Saven, Ojatite Summons cards that I do like. I'm just Gonna take the secure the waste. Uh, not only is it worth a ticket, but it's a it's a great card actually. I think it's and I would actually say it's it's straight up better than ultimate price. I know ultimate price is premium removal and all, but the thing about secure the waste that's kind of overlooked is how good it is in like mid or late game. I won't say it's good in early game, but mid or late game, it's a pretty phenomenal card. There's been many times that I've drafted this card and I've three for one my opponent. Like, my opponent will attack with three creatures, and I'll make four dudes and just block in a way where I kill all of their guys. And then late game, I'll make, like, seven guys, and you just win. So it's just a, it's a really strong rare and definitely worthy of, of first picking, in my mind. Okay. Well, we can stay on color here. Uh, there is Dromoka Captain, but now I'm going to take Silk Wrap. I'll take removal this time over Dromoka Captain. I tend to pass Dromoka Captain often, and people tend to get upset with me about that, which is fine. I still don't think this card is insane. I do think it's good. I do like the card. I just don't think it's insane. Um, I'd still rather have a Silk Wrap because this deals with morphs and, uh, well, just cheap dudes in general, and any, any matter of token creature as well. Uh, Dromoka Warrior, also good. Maybe we can wheel it, depending on how open white is, but take Silk Wrap. Okay, well, I think I, I just want to slam a Strong Arm Monk here. I really can't think of a better creature to have when you have a Secure the Waste. Just seems phenomenally powerful. Um, other notable picks in here, Ojitai Summons, which also pro like will play well with Strong Arm Monk, definitely. Um, Evolving Wilds, which I like. Cypion Sight, which I don't play very often, but I think it's actually a good card. But yeah, I think it's pretty easy, Strong Arm Monk. We get to stay on color with the first two picks, and we get a card that just interacts really in a powerful way with Secure the Waste. I actually just like Strong Arm Monk a lot. I think it's a great card. Okay, so we're finally going to go off color here, because it's not worth taking a Glaring Aegis. Um, there is Vulture Saving. There's Acid Spewer Dragon. I may just want the Ojitai Summons. It's a, yet another card that's going to play really well with Strong Arm Monk. And um, there is Assault Formation as well, which actually does play really well with Secure the Waste. You just buff all of them. That's kind of interesting. And it still kind of plays with Strong Arm Monk. It is a rare as well. I'm intrigued by it. Um, typically, though, the, the problem with Assault Formation after the Strong Arm Monk is. I don't think Strong Arm Monk's at its best in green-white. It still can be very good, but blue-white is really, I think, where you're going to shine with Strong Arm Monk because you just get cards like Ojitai Summons and other good blue instant and sorcery spells that are going to really power it up. I'm going to take the Summons here. I just, I've got a good feeling about it. Like, now I can take Summons number two, which I think I am going to do. Um, you can play as many Summons as you want. I don't even mind playing a ton of summons and then going to 18 lands or something if I have to. There's a Drowner in here as well, but I'm just going to take the, the summons. Um, no white picks that are worthy, which is a little bit a little bit scary, but hopefully we'll see some more white picks soon. I'm still going to take the summons, the second one. I like it. Summons is a great card. Okay. Uh, this is interesting. We can take Ojitai's Breath. That also is going to play really well with Strong Arm Monk. This might actually be... Blue-White, I think, is a great place for Ojitai's Breath because you typically get a lot of Flyers, a lot of Evasive Guys, or a lot of cheap uh, powered threats in white. And I think Ojitai's Breath tends to play really well there. There is Blessed Reincarnation, which is a rare. I'm not the biggest fan of the card. I, think, I do think it's a pretty playable card, and I've played it before, and I think it's okay. I've had it be okay for me. Um, I guess it... I want to say it plays a similar role to Ojitai's Breath, but it's just not true. Because you still... When it all comes down to it, they do get another creature, and the creature's untapped. It just deals with big threats more permanently. I'm going to take the Ojitai's Breath. Okay. We have Anticipate, which I think I'm just going to take. 
Clone Legion's a little bit too tough to play, and Updraft Elemental is only okay. I think Anticipate is just a really good card that whenever you're in blue, you're going to play it, so I'll take it. Hmm. Bit of a miss here. We've kind of missed on white for a little bit, so there's a chance that white doesn't work out. I still kind of feel like blue is the right direction. Um, regardless, I guess I'll take Radiant Purge. I could take Negate. Radiant Purge is just going to be a sideboard card, but I kind of like, I kind of like the idea of what it can do against certain cards. It's pretty narrow, though. I just, I mean, I think the reason I'm taking it is because it's rare. So when it comes in, I think there's a chance it's going to be really good. All right, Sandstorm Charger is a totally legitimate card. I'm going to take it over the negate. Oh my God. Skywise Teachings is insane in this deck. I'm very happy to take this card. With Ojutai's Breath, double Ojutai's Summons, Skywise Teachings really... This is like one of the best spots for Skywise Teachings you can po possibly ask for already. So I'm really happy to, to pick it up there. And a couple people uh, mentioned in the comments that they don't think I should have played this card. I totally disagree. Maybe in that last deck... Already in this deck, I think Skywise Teachings better than it was in that last deck. So this is like really where Skywise Teachings, I think, is going to shine. Uh, we'll take the Negate over the Territorial Rock. I, I think actually Rock's okay, but I want to at least have one Negate, at the very least for sideboard. I'll take Glaring Aegis. I don't think there's a good chance I play it. Resupply, I've, I've sideboarded into. I'm going to cut white to take it. Contradict. I'm fine with playing. This doesn't really strike me as a deck that I'm going to want to play it in because I'm probably going to be on the lookout for more Ojutai Summons, which, like I said, are just insane with Skywise Teachings. Skywise Teachings Strong, our Monk 2, are really going to synergize well. So I'm already, I'm, I'm kind of, I've got some high hopes for this deck. Well, we got an on-color rare, and it turns out there's really... Nothing else in this pack I care about. I mean, Draconic Roar, but I think we're... we're At this point, I'm just going to try and stick to a a blue-white thing. And actually, Ojutai's Command is fine in here. We'll, we'll find some two mana cost or less creatures, I assume. Or if not, gain four life, counter a spell, or counter a spell draw a card is still very good. I mean, it's like a, almost... It's not quite a strict upgrade from Contradict, I, I guess, since it's a little more narrow in its applications, but I would still rather play it than Contradict, so we'll take it. The life gain cannot be overlooked. Okay. Um, Interceptor, Lightwalker, Herald of Jamoka. I don't have any plus one, plus one counter effects yet, so Lightwalker's not looking at its best. Herald of Jamoka is decent, but we don't really have Warriors. I think I'd probably just take the Interceptor. It flies kind of makes sense to take here. It's not the most exciting second pick, but blue-white is definitely all about flyers, and Interceptor is certainly that, so we'll take it. Uh, I think I just want to continue to slam Ojutai Summons, honestly. Um, like I said, this this card is going to interact so positively with Strong Arm Monk and Skywise Teachings that um, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with already accepting that I'm going to play an 18 land deck and just play a bunch of late game powerhouse cards. Um, hopefully I can find some card draw effects, but the nice thing is even if you don't have a bunch of card draw effects, Skywise Teachings out there really just has such huge rewards for these rebound spells that, um, even if you get a bit flooded, you can, you can just power out so many guys. Uh, and there's nothing else in here I really care about. I do have Graceblade Artisan. Chance with Glaring Aegis, which is cute, but I don't think that's the deck I want to go for here, so we're just going to take third summons. Okay, Ochitai's Breath number two. Actually, I think I actually may just want... The Sandcrafter Mage is a phenomenal card. Ochitai's Breath is also very good, but I am I want to say I'm Creature Light. I mean, I kind of am. I, I have like seven creatures... Uh, if you include the summons and the secure the waste, which you probably should. Sandcrafter Mage is a very nice turn three card, though. It really is. Getting a, a three mana three three, especially since we don't have any turn two guys, this guy can really put a stop to some aggro decks. Ojutai's Breath is just going to interact really well with the Skywise Teachings and the Strong Arm Monk, though. 
The thing is, I think Ojutai's Breath is, like, looking better in this deck, but Sandcrafter Mage is the better card. I think I'm going to take the better card and hope to see another Ojutai's Breath. Dance of the Skywise is not a card I like all that much. Uh, Monument, I guess, could help me splash for, like, a green card. Kind of don't feel like that's what this deck needs. I don't really like Dance of the Skywise all that much. It is kind of cool with Skywise Teachings and Strong Arm Monk, but I think I'm going to go with the Updraft Elemental, which is just a, a good early blocker. This deck's late game is so good that I kind of don't want to screw up our early game too much. I'm going to take a Light Walker over a Scale Blessing. Now that we have a Sandcrafter Mage, it's looking better, and even if we don't play a turn 3 Sandcrafter Mage after it, it's something that blocks early and makes trades, buys us time. I'll take Light Walker number 2. There is a Lore Master, which can bring back... There's actually quite a few things it can bring back. Maybe I do want the Lore Master. If I'm playing 18 lands especially, and it can bring back, like, Secure the Waste? All right, I convinced myself. I'm going to take the Lore Master over the second Light Walker. Center Soul, this is, like, once again, another really, really insane deck for it. The problem is I kind of want the Student of Ojutai as well. Student into Summons is just going to be insane. Like, you play Student, you play Summons, gain two, rebound, gain two, get a bunch of dudes, have a blocker. I think Center Soul, okay, Center Soul's got better synergies with Teachings and Monk, but Student of Ojutai has just got better power of giving us late game. Like, Student of Ojutai is just going to get us to that late game. Um, I'll take Champion of Ereshin. I typically don't play the card, but otherwise I take a second updraft elemental, which I don't really want. And Champion of Ereshin also could potentially get us to late game. All right, now I'm kind of glad I took that Lore Master over the second Lightwalker. Because we ended up getting one anyway. All right, I'll take the Graceblade Artisan. We do have a, a Glaring Aegis. I, I can put it in for now, actually. It's it's at the very worst, it's a 3-mana 2-3. All right, well, we'll follow up with another Glaring Aegis. I just don't think that's really what... That's not really the direction I want to go with this deck. I'll take the Loose Calm. Okay. Spider Silk Net is actually a card I like, but this doesn't strike me as a deck that would really need to sideboard into it. So now we're one card away from our 18 land deck, which I'm, I'm still comfortable doing. I think we can definitely find some upgrades, though. Like, I typically don't need to main deck negate. It's a much better sideboard card. I probably... Oh, let me just get Elite Scale Guard. There is Soul Summons and Surveyor, but I've said this a few times. Scale Guard's like a rare. Scale Guard is straight up like a rare... Um, that they just didn't quite uh, put in a rare slot. I, I don't know why they didn't. It really does strike me as a rare. Um, so, so Yeah, Surveyor and Soul Summons are insane in this deck too. Surveyor is always insane in, whenever you're in blue, but Soul Summons just interacts once again well with Skywise Teachings and Monk. But, well, I mean, we're likely to wheel it. This packet goes really deep. Uh, but we're just going to slam the Scale Guard. Okay, uh, I think we want the Soul Summons. I really want to focus on the Teachings Strong Arm Monk aspect of our deck, and it's another bear card. Um, Dragon Bell Monk is also going to work really well with the Summons, but I, I, want, uh, I just want more non-creature spells. I really want Teachings to just be absolutely insane in this deck, and Monk too. So... Here's what we'd run it with, like, 18 lands. I think we probably don't need the Artisan, despite I have got the Double Glaring Aegis. I just don't want to focus on that. Uh, I probably want the Siege, especially if I'm playing 18 lands. It just sort of makes sense to me. Uh, it's going to help us in Flood situations. And it's just, it's a good card. Still interacts with Teachings and Monk. I would like the Dragon Bell Monk, too, but I'm going to take the Rare. Oh my god, Misfire Adept is so good. There's right into being, but I can't pass Adept. It's too good. Way too good in this deck with triple summons. And all of our non-creature spells. Yeah, this this card is just so good. Uh, I like right into being, Sage, Lotus Patch in as well. Even Pressure Point's kind of cool in this deck. 
Uh, my cut is, at this point, it might actually just be the updraft elemental. I like kind of keeping all of our two-drop creatures. And updraft, el well, maybe the champion can go too. But champion into scale guard is actually pretty sick. Life gain is good. Let's cut the updraft elemental. There might be more upside to champion. There's our soul summons. But Sandstep Outcast is one of those cards that's really tough to pass. I mean, we're trying to focus more on the Teachings Monk, but Sandstep Outcast is so much more premium than Soul Summons, even though it's got the good synergies, that I'm just going to take it. It really is one of those cards where your opponent goes like one drop, two drop creature, and you're just like Outcast. Uh, now it's like you can't attack me without making some really bad trades. It really just is one of those... One of those cards that you gotta love. Um, maybe at this point I can move the champion for the outcast. All right, there's Erish and Cleric. There's Sage's Reverie. The funny thing is, even though I'm focused on this deck, I've actually got a good like Graceblade Artisan deck now with with sage's reverie especially but i'm I'm not gonna go to it i i love this this strategy seems way more appealing to me than the the graceblade artisan one i'll i'll, I'll bring erishan cleric it seems like an easy swap for a light walker in certain matchups if i need to against the hyper aggro um return to the earth seems okay against us nothing else here really strikes me as a card i'd i'd want to play return to the earth just seems like something that can be good against us especially with the the teachings we're trying to trying to go for. Uh Just Guy Sage seems really good in this deck. Probably better than Pressure Point. Yeah. I think so. God, I don't even know what to cut anymore. Our deck's getting to the point where it's like I've got everything. I still want to play 18 lands, I think, just cuz we've got enough five drops that I want to hit. And now that we have the siege, I think it you you really want a bunch of mana for for teachings too, I think. All right, we'll take the Sage, but I don't know what I'm going to cut for it yet. Uh, I mean, Warflare would be good in here. I think I'll just hate it because it's a good card. I'm not going to play a Skullkeeper or anything else. I am pretty hopeful we can wheel a Soul Summons, but we'll see if it happens. I could play 17 lands. It doesn't seem appealing to me, though. I would rather. I think I'd rather play 18 lands with this deck, believe it or not. Enhanced Awareness. Lotus Eye Mystics is actually... It's only okay, I guess. We're actually pretty removal light now that I'm looking at it. We have Silk Wrap, Ojitai's Breath. Ojitai's Command isn't even really removal, so we ended up with very low removal. But we still have, like, a great late game plan. I'm going to take the Mystics. I don't think we play it, though. Grim Contest. I'll hate the removal here. Rain to being, actually. I'm going to take that and play it. Find a way to, to get that in here. I like it a lot in an 18 land deck, especially. Refocus is something I can consider. No, I'm not going to play it. We'll, we'll, we'll take the, the land away from somebody, I think. Make someone's mana base worse, potentially. They're both not exciting cards there. All right. So we have a sweet deck. Uh, we're super removal light, which I didn't notice until pretty late into the draft, but... We have such a good, tight, like, game plan. I think this is like a deck that could totally get away with with being removal light and not have it, like, affect the power level of this deck very much. So I basically just have to figure out what cards need to be cut. I want to play all of my non-creature spell creatures. Like Soul Summons right into being Triple Ojitai Summon, so we have seventeen, we have eighteen creatures if you count that. I can probably cut a Light Walker. It does pair well with the Sandcrafter Mage, but if I'm playing eighteen lands, I'd rather focus on our more powerhouse spells. Even, even Sandstorm Charger is. Something I'm considering putting on the chopping block, but 
I, I still like anticipate. It's really tough for me to ever cut anticipate. It's just such a nice, nice way to find power spells. I might cut the charger. I definitely like Loremaster quite a bit in this deck. If it's got 12 targets it can find. And Charger's just like a, another beefy dude that I probably don't need. Student of Ojai is like too premium in this deck to cut to. Too much life gain I can get. And Interceptor I think is just better than Charger because it flies. And Sandcrafter Mage is just, I like that it just comes down right away and it's a big threat. I think I'm going to cut the charger. All right. So I want to run it like this. This deck's cool, man. This deck is really cool. These are fun decks to play. So basically we just, if we can hit our lands, I don't feel like Flood is going to destroy us either because we have these like, we've got Mana Sinks. We have, we have the, the card quality uh, fixer of Monastery Siege. We have Anticipate, which helps us find big threat cards. We've got big threats on their own, like Elite Scale Guard. Strong Arm Monk is just super power in this deck. So the only thing about this deck that, that is weak is our removal. We're very removal light. But other than that, um, it's really looking good. It is really looking good. So... Uh, let's sort by color again. I already forgot. Okay, so we want more blue than white, but we still need white early. So I think we're just going to do maybe a 9-9 nine -nine split. Is that what they say? I'm actually fine doing a 9-9 nine -nine split. Although we don't need double white. But we don't need double blue until turn 5. So I think if we... With nine islands, we really should be able to see two islands by turn five. No problem. And I just don't want to have color issues, really. I don't want to not see white. And I need both colors early anyway. So, okay. We're going to run it like this. This deck is cool. I like it. This looks like a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have to see how it plays. So, all right. Running it like this. And we'll see you around one.